So this whole exercise has been pretty entertaining so far I guess. I now have a very colourful uh, mat. Um, certainly the hex side is starting to look fairly unusable. Uh, this is turpentine, mineral turpentine, 100%. So we're, we're pulling out the big guns now, we're trying the hard stuff. See if things will actually move that permanent marker. Here's my black. And the blue. And my red. And my green. Alright, permanent marks are now on. This is where it starts getting really interesting. Turpentine. Yes. I can just imagine this is probably going to take the entire surface off. Alcohol's not like a, a smart thing to put on any surface, really. So there is mineral turpentine. Whoa, the blue just went all smudgy, and the black, and the red and the green. That certainly did something to it pretty quickly. Um, so that's good news. Uh, is the grid disappearing though? That's the question. Wow, that certainly had an effect. Let's get rid of that though. More mineral turpentine, rubbity rubbity rub rub. Oh, the green is definitely disappearing. Uh, the black and the blue and the red still pretty much intact, but that green is definitely coming out. Isn't that helpful? Yeah, I think it is. Um, is it affecting the grid? I haven't had a... It doesn't seem to have damaged the mat. It certainly seems to have removed a good portion of the green, but the, the red and the blue and the black is still there. The green's almost gone. We'll try one more application. You never know, that might actually take it out completely. Oh, let's do some more. Make sure we get a decent amount on there. Alright, the green is almost completely gone. There's still a few sort of marks suggesting there is green there, but uh, it's the other colours that seem to be pretty much staying there, they don't seem to be disappearing. Um, they're just uh, faded, that's all they've done. The mat itself, the grid surface, it hasn't been damaged, well that's good news. But, uh, this is really only going to get your green out by the looks, I don't think it's going to get anything else out. Um, and I'm having to rub for a while, so uh, I'm not sure that putting alcohol on the surface and leaving it there for a while is going to be much good to you because it's just going to evaporate. But we'll give it a go and you never know, it maybe it'll work. The green is almost completely gone. I can just make out a small amount of it, but it is almost essentially gone. I've applied a little bit of turpentine, I'm just going to let it leave to sit there and hopefully it'll sort of work its magic, eh? Hey? Take out that mark and uh, the red or the blue or the green might disappear. It's more likely going to evaporate but um, when it does I'll come back and we'll have a look. I've left the mineral turpentine on for about 2-3 minutes now and you can see it really hasn't had any more effect. The green is gone, certainly it's very good for getting green permanent marker off, but the red, the blue and the black are just stains and they're not removing any more. So um, yes, I'd have to say that uh, turpentine doesn't damage the surface and the, the grid seems to still be there, but it doesn't take all the marks off. So uh, turpentine's not your solution unless you're using a green pen.